But I think the average American is hopefully smarter than that and starting to see through their plan or plans, shall we say, since there's been so many of them over the last four years, and how nothing they claim ever comes true. Doesn't mean that they don't say certain things that are true, but none of these big plans, whether it's an investigation, an impeachment, whether it's the, the, the pandemic, whatever, they just, they just always blow up in their face. Am I being optimistic, though, of thinking that Americans are seeing through it? No, not at all. I think Americans uh, are waking up. I mean, you know, the closer you get to Election Day, uh, it's like the old saying, you know, uh, when, when you're getting closer to your own hanging, things get uh, serious. And they're getting closer to their own hanging, and I think they know it. Um, the Democrats' theory for many years has been keep throwing stuff up against the wall and see what sticks. And so far, nothing's really sticking. And the second point is they have no follow through. You know, before the pandemic, Donald Trump, in my opinion, was on the way to a landslide reelection. And the reason being the economy was humming along. People who hadn't worked in years were working. Things were doing great. And then the pandemic comes along. So that kind of knocked the president down and he's had to try and recover. But the Democrats have thought this is a great opportunity to slip in all the stuff we've been talking about since the baby boomers took over mm -hmm. many years ago. And they're going to try and see if they can't finally get some of the stuff, their long awaited wish list of turning America into some kind of European socialist country. So I, I think that the people are waking up and they're starting to realize we're Americans, not Europeans. Yeah. No, I, I, I think you're right, too. I hope you're right. Um, and, and I totally agree. I think that pre-COVID, this, this was not a competition. It shouldn't be now, you know, when you look at the candidate who they've got, who I think most Democrats, even with it, you can see it in the eyes of, of, of hosts right. and anchors on TV when they're interviewing him, how, how scared they are of, of just, you know, how bad of a state he's in. And again, I don't wish illness on him. I just think he shouldn't be the candidate. And, and it's, it's terrifying that they're, that they're putting him up there. Um, but do you think the Dems, like, they keep trying these plans. Do you think that they know behind the scenes that it's not going well? Like, are, are they no. panicking or do you, or are they kind of like high five and like, yeah, like this is going great. Like, wh 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 where's their head? Well, I think when you've got the national media uh, headquartered in New York and Washington, D.C. and Los Angeles to some extent, when you got the national media as your press agent, you start to believe your own press clippings. You know, there, there's the old story about the guy says, you know, don't believe your own press clippings because you're not getting a true picture of what's going on. Uh, it also reminds me of the Democrats tend to talk to each other. Um, back when uh, Richard Nixon ran in 1968, there was a woman who was a film critic for the New York Times, and her name was Pauline Kael, lived on the Upper East Side, very liberal New Yorker. And after the election, she was so shocked that Nixon won, she said, I don't know how he won. Nobody I know voted for him. And that's the point. They're yeah. very insular about who they talk to, and I think they think they're winning. But, you know, they've got a candidate who basically is a fraud, who for years has been propped up as old lunch bucket Joe Biden, who actually has never carried a lunch bucket. So I think they believe their BS. I think they believe their press agents. And that's always dangerous in politics. And I think that the silent majority, just like they did in 1968 with Richard Nixon, and I'm old enough to remember that, are going to speak up once again and say, enough is enough. Yeah. Well, and there was a lot of thought that it would that, that this election too would then be like his next one in '72, um, to your point earlier. That just was he just ran away with it. Um, yeah, and I still think that's a possibility. You know, even even the, I mean, look, they they're going to push polls for fee.